All right, we are into the last stretch of the challenge now. And imagine making a typical junk food into something you could eat any day of the week. That is right, today we are going to talk pizza. This amazing food is just as good cold as hot. And in college, we used to say it is just like sex. Even when it is bad, it is still pretty good. That is what we're going to turn into a plant-only meal today. This is Plant Your Life, the channel dedicated to helping you eat more plants, therefore helping you to reach your goal of being healthier, reducing your eco-footprint, or eating with a clear conscience as you reduce the number of animals sacrificed for your taste buds. Or all three, because you are. Now, I came across this term reducitarian this week. Seems like an appropriate way of thinking about your meat eating. Eating less meat, eating more plants. Bring it on. Speaking of less meat, how did you go with the barbecue? Did you try a Beyond Burger, a Moving Mountains Burger, maybe one of the others? Tell me about it in the comments. And as you smashed your goal, then smash that like button now and tell the world you are eating more plants. So how can I eat pizza every day of the week and still be healthy, you might ask? Well, I don't personally, because I like cheese on my pizza. And even the plant-based version of cheese has heaps of saturated fat in it, which is not so great. So I consider it a special treat. But you can make pizza whole food, plant-based and healthy pretty easily. Start with a cauliflower base. Reduce the cheese to a minimum or use a cashew nut and nutritional yeast based cheese. Now, how do you do that, you might ask? Well, let's start with the base. Typically, a pizza base is made from highly processed white flour. Pretty bad for you. So there are stacks of recipes for making your own cauliflower base. And you can even buy this one in my local supermarket. It's a pre-made cauliflower base, a 37% cauliflower. It is a great extra whole food to add to your day. Then it's about reducing the cheese. Well, that might be easy. Personally, I prefer just to eat other whole food items and keep pizza for a special occasion myself. But you can hold off the cheese. My favourite replacement is roasted capsicum with a bit of olive oil. You could go all homemade. If you're doing this for your health, you really should. It is the easiest way to increase your whole foods and reduce additives like salt, sugar and preservatives. This is a great cashew cheese recipe. I haven't actually made this one, but it has all the right ingredients to work. Based on another recipe that I have made for lasagna and pizza in the past which I think is fantastic. I haven't put it on pizza yet. If you're ready to go for challenge number eight now, grab a healthy pizza, reduce your cheese or make a great whole food one and boom, you can eat more pizza. Bring it on. Now you can even top your pizza with some dark leafy greens for all those goodies mixed with all the colors of the tomatoes, the peppers and the great nutrients in mushrooms. You're in for a real treat, or your gut is at least. Before I move on, you might be wondering about the sausage and ham toppings. Since I covered sausages last week as part of the barbecue, I highly recommend using the same sausage for a pizza topping, if you're so inclined. So I won't spend so much of your valuable time going over it again. I do want to spend some time on this nutritional information for reference for the cow cheese versus plant cheese. Now, to be honest, as I said earlier, coconut oil, which is how they make plant-based cheese, is really high in saturated fat. So there isn't a great deal of difference, as you can see in this table, except for the increase in fiber, which is quite helpful. But that could, wouldn't outweigh the disadvantages of the saturated fat. So try to aim for a homemade cheese sauce and a cauliflower base, and then you can eat pizza daily as per the promise of the title of this video. 
This is another meal you could make 100% plant-based, thereby increasing your plant-based meals up to 17 out of 21. That is incredible! Are you up for more? You could be 100% plant-based in a very short few weeks. That is it for this week. So thanks for the early like. That really helps the channel and spreads the word. If you are new here, you might consider subscribing or checking out the series introduction over here or in the description. You can also visit plantyourlife.fun where you can start over and get a free email weekly of the entire series one to bite this off a little bit slowly, pun intended. And if you know someone who wants to increase their plant intake, then share this video with them or the series. Now, over to you. Share below what is your favorite plant-based pizza cheese or other topping. What's your favorite pizza topping? What have you tried? Have you fallen over? If so, what is stopping you? Share below in the comments. Let me know if I can help you get over the hurdle of reducing your meat, fish and dairy intake. I'll see you later. Have a great day.